Hello, it's Al, uh, giving you an update. Uh, you can see by the movement of the trees, uh, we have about a 15 mile an hour wind today. Uh, surges between 12, I think, and 15. Here are the turbines, working quite well. Uh, I went ahead and changed the system back to 12 volts because I finally got all the equipment that I needed, uh, or most of it. And I'll see you with that, uh, what that did. So here's the uh, charge con or the uh, inverter that I'm going to connect. It's a trip light, two kilowatt uh, to maximum four kilowatts. It can work at three kilowatts for one hour and four kilowatts, I think, for 10 minutes. Uh, and then this is a Santrex T240, which converts the single phase uh, 120 volt AC output here and uh, converts it to 240 volt or two phase 120, vol 120 volts each. So I can run my well pump and other, you know, the air conditioner and so on. Uh, in addition, my son had uh, fried or burnt up my. Uh, two kilowatt pure sine wave inverter and uh, so I ordered a new one and then I'm quite happy with this tiger claw the fans don't turn on unless you really need them to and uh, here's the uh, what the board looks like now or for now uh, as you can see they're charging like crazy uh, very seldom you'll see it below 10 amps at 12 volts now um, charging very very early on uh, 24 volts, I wasn't getting nearly half the charge that I get now. It's unbelievable how much is these uh, Winmax turbines really put out at 12 volts. Uh, in an area where you have, you know, like mine, 12, uh, 12 mile an hour average winds, uh, this is really the way to go. Uh, the batteries are fully charged. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, registering almost 14 volts. Uh, right now I have the two batteries in parallel and this weekend I'm going to make build a rack on the enclosure uh, with a vent for the 20 deep cycle interstate batteries. Here's the old uh, charge controls uh, from Winmax. I'm going to use the resistive loads here, the dump loads, and wire them here. I have two 250 watt uh, uh, resistors there but uh, they don't keep up in windy events, we had last night some winds of about you know 20 to 25 miles an hour, and this thing was just constantly dumping. I just couldn't get the power out fast enough. I have the two freezers, a fan, and my water pump hooked up right now uh, to the inverter. And even with that, it's, it's staying charged, and we don't use enough electricity really to you know uh, bring it down. So. Uh, this is definitely going to work out very well. There's a room for the solar panels, which right now all of them are up on the roof. Finally, we got uh, got them finally mounted. But I'm waiting for a delivery of an Outback uh, FlexMax 60 charge controller. It's an MPPT charge controller that we're going to place up here. And uh, the reason why I went that route is because a I, get, I can get 60 amps at 12 volts, but b and most important. I have 10 gauge wire running all the way 50 feet out to the roof and that is not, uh, I would have to run much bigger wire uh, to bring uh, my 500 watts out here. So I'm uh, connecting the panels, five panels in series, doing four, uh, several strings of uh, five panels in series, bringing that voltage to 100 volts, bringing it here, 100 volts to the MPPT charge controller, which changed it back to uh, 12 volts to charge my batteries. So uh, that's gonna net me uh, a lot of efficiency uh, without having to run a lot of wire. And that's the main reason why I went with that. The old uh, uh, inverter from Harbor Freight is here. I'll mount it somewhere else later on. That's uh, really a, not a very good uh, inverter fans run all the time and uh, I think the, the modified sine wave on that is pretty coarse so I already found out there's not a whole lot of things that run well with that. Uh, you can see right now we're charging 10 amps here 
almost 20 amps here. Uh, it's about 16 right now. About 10 up here, climbing up to 12, 14. And you'll see this is the the turbine that's highest, about uh, seven feet higher than that one. And there you can actually usually see the difference between one and the other one. This one will charge usually more than that one will. Uh, well, they're pretty close to each other, but it's very seldom that you'll see it at the zero. This thing is always charging, always charging. So I've never seen, I never tried turbines that are sufficient as this Winmax are. I tried one for uh, from Windblue, uh, PMA uh, uh, 540, and one of the ones from uh, Jeff Muller, which, you know, the low wind, which turned out to be really about the same thing. They don't put out a whole lot of power. Uh, they don't even start putting out power until you get to 10, 11 miles an hour. They're not all that great. Uh, I'm going to put one up, uh, up here on the roof of the shed, just so I can, you know, get some power out of it and not waste them. But uh, it's not something that I would recommend to anybody. Really, the ones that I would recommend to everyone are these Winmax turbines. Uh, the Stagger Claw inverter uh, is a, a pure sine wave. I got it off eBay for $199, which is a really good price for a pure sine um, inverter, uh, 1500 watts. So uh, I was uh, not sure when I purchased it because it didn't say whether the fans were thermostatic thermostatically controlled, and they are right now. Silence, fans aren't running. This other one here, the fans were run continuously and it was very noisy. So I'm glad that I got this because it's doing very well. It's not discharging my batteries just by running fans unnecessarily. And the system's running quite well right now. I will uh, shoot a, an update uh, as soon as I have the charge controller, or I mean the inverter, uh, from Triplight and my Santrix uh, T240 connected. This guy here has a 25 amp battery charger built in and an automatic transfer switch so I'll bring in power from my panels outside uh, to the shed have a breaker out there feed this guy here and let it automatically transfer when my batteries are are low I'll have a transfer from one to the other one automatically so I think that's gonna work out pretty well uh, and uh, I will shoot a, an update in the near future when that is all done and working and uh, one last shot of the turbines working you can see this guy down here but well, maybe you can't uh, but that's way, that's over 20 amps right there this guy here is about 15 16 amps uh, and that's just the way you see them all the time I mean very seldom they'll go under 10 they're almost always at 10 or higher which is great, uh, which is the reason I recommend everybody that's watching these videos don't go through the pain that I did of buying, you know, the PMAs of eBay, spending the money on that, spending the money on all kinds of different blades trying to figure out which ones actually will work. Uh, spend, I spent money buying the, uh, uh, the um, uh, motors that they sell on eBay also that uh, advertise that, you know, they'll work as a turbine they don't you gotta have so many rpms in those things that are mostly useless unless you live in an area where you're getting you know 20 plus mile an hour winds all the time uh, which is not the case in most of the u.s so uh, if you want something that will work cost the same as the ones that you're getting off ebay and you want a hassle-free installation for sure it'll work go get you a wind max turbine i can't recommend it anymore to be quite honest i am so happy with him uh, i uh, really can't say you know, good things about them, you can't hear them. Uh, they're very quiet, so. Um, I'll shoot a new, uh, new video as soon as I get my dump loads connected here, and as soon as I get the inverter and the T240 connected here, and uh, keep you up to date, and also once I get the solar panels connected, okay? Thanks and take care.